In this demonstration, we're going to see how we can model a fuel supply system using SIM hydraulics. Our system looks like this. There's a fuel tank in each wing and a central fuel tank. These tanks are connected by fuel lines, and the pressure drop in this fuel line is dependent upon the bank angle of the plane, or the relative elevation of the ends of the pipeline. We want to evaluate this fuel supply system under different flight scenarios, including what happens if different pumps fail. We'll evaluate this system using SIM hydraulics. The model of the system looks like this, and we'll see when we run the simulations that we can easily test this fuel system under different scenarios. I'll now switch over to the model so you can see how this is done. Here's the model of our fuel supply system. We have a tank in each wing of a plane, as well as a central tank. These tanks are connected by fuel lines, and the pressure drop in these fuel lines depends upon the elevation at each end of the pipe. We control that elevation using these signals. If we look at the tanks themselves, we see we have a variable head tank, which is connected to a tank valve that controls the flow out of the tank. Centrifugal pumps are used in parallel to draw fuel from the tank, and these check valves are used to prevent the flow of fuel back into the tank. This tank system is also replicated on the other wing. The central tank has valves that connect it to each of the tanks in the wings, and there is a very simple control system that controls when these valves are open or closed. When we run the simulation, we can see how the system performs. These scopes show the level of fuel in the tanks, as well as the pressure at each tank. This simulation, which is about 3,000 seconds, shows how fuel is drawn from the tanks in the right and left wing, and the level of fuel in the central tank. We can see that as the plane banks, the pressure increases on one tank and decreases on the other. This results in a fuel imbalance in the plane. Using MATLAB scripts, we can run a series of tests. Here you can see we've configured a set of tests with the varying elevation of the plane or bank angle of the plane, and then we are causing different pump failures with these signals. Using this MATLAB script, we can run these tests in series and save the results to the MATLAB workspace. We can see that as the different pumps fail, the fuel balance on the plane varies. This plot shows how the system performed for the three scenarios that we tested. We can see that using MATLAB scripts, we can automatically evaluate how this system and the controller performs under different flight scenarios. In this demonstration, we have seen how we can model a fuel supply system using SIM hydraulics.